Hello Aries, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at the energies between you and the person that you are thinking about, connecting with, or will be connecting with. Keep in mind that every reading will resonate for you as this is for the Aries Collective. And let's jump right in and see what we have for you at this time with this person. For Aries. Sorry guides messages please guidance for Aries regarding this individual that they're thinking about connecting with or will be connecting with in the future spirit what do we need to know about the energies between Aries and this other person for Aries Mutual energies between you right now. We have the star and the chariot. Wow. Aquarius energy, cancer energy. On your end, we have the high priestess and the wheel of fortune. Why all of this major arcana? What's going on, Aries? Wow. On their end, we have the nine of pentacles and the ten of swords. They're free of something is what it looks like here. Or um, you were free of like maybe single after an ending or you look good after an ending. You had a glow up after an ending and they're thinking about you here. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck and why everything's happening. Ten of Pentacles. Okay. So I see a lot of potential here for something very stable, uh, very um, secure. Let's get some energies out here. And I find it fascinating. You have the high priestess and the wheel of fortune. So it's almost like there's an opportunity that you might not see coming or that you don't truly understand. Because the wheel of fortune is like your lucky break, fortunate events. The you know, events are set in motion that work in your favor. But with the high priestess, it's all about like secret knowledge, mystery, what's hidden beneath the veil or behind the veil. So I almost get the sense that there's something that maybe you're not really aware of right now regarding this person, regarding love. There's definitely moves being made with the chariot. What's the energy here between Aries and this other person? What's the energy here? Budding romance, new love. Let me move this a little bit. You can see your energies. New love, romance, courtship. Romance is in the air. So there's love here. Um, the opportunity for some new love, perhaps, or for something to develop with another person. Bottom of the deck, we have cold shoulder. Silence, distance, coldness. Someone is feeling shut out. I'm also reading this as there hasn't been a lot going on, either for you individually in love or in this connection. Okay, let's keep get another one. Uh, these are some new decks that I'm playing with. This is my Ever After deck and P.S. I Love You. They're not done just yet. I'm kind of still playing around tweaking a couple of things, but they will be sold on my Etsy shop and I will announce that when they're ready. So let's see. What's the energy between Aries and this other person? What's the energy here? between Aries and this other person. What do we need to know, sir? What do we need to know? Love song, declaration, heartfelt confession. Didn't you have a reading about someone confessing something to you? Declaration, someone could be declaring their feelings for you, sharing with you how they feel. What else, what else for Aries? Curse, bad luck, punishment, karma. And what's this? Enchanted Rose, karmic lesson and judgment. Okay, so when I see those two together, I feel like one of you has had some sort of karmic lesson. And it, it was like on purpose, like this had to happen for this individual. Could be your person only because they have the Ten of Swords over there. So, you know. I instantly think difficulties, endings. 
Bottom of the deck is poisoned apple. Warnings, deception, red flags. Okay, so I feel like someone could have ignored red flags here and that was part of their lesson. This could be you, this could be them. It's relevant for this connection. Like someone had to learn a karmic lesson. All right, so let's get some clarity here for Aries. What's going on here for Aries spirit? For Aries. Clarity, insight, please. Let's start with this Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Four of Cups. Okay, interesting. I'm getting the same energy over here. Like someone's not aware that there's a cup right in front of them. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. This could be your energy here. Nine of Pentacles shows up again. I feel like someone wants a Ten of Pentacles with you or you want a Ten of Pentacles with someone else. There's like, it's like someone's observing you here or you're observing someone. Tell me about one more please for this Ten of Pentacles. That's not what these cards mean. Those are just the messages that I'm getting when I look at the cards. Three of Pentacles. This is working together, collaborating. I'm getting interference here as well. There could have been a third person and that was a karmic lesson for someone. I feel like this could have been an interference where you missed out on an opportunity here, Aries. Someone could be wanting to do something about this with the King of Wands, take some sort of action related to this. Because the Chariot is here, the Star, Aquarius energy. This is like hope, faith, healing. Let's start with the star. Why is this star here? Why is this star here? The sun, oh yeah. This is definitely somebody that I feel is hoping to um, heal something perhaps. Yeah, the ace of pentacles with the page of wands. So that's, I feel like this is this king of wands energy here. I think Aries, at some point, I don't know why, you had a missed opportunity with this person. You know, some of you, someone got in the way, others of you, this person just, you know, one of you made the wrong choice and you probably ended up not together. But with the star, the sun and the ace of pentacles, I'm getting someone that's like, that's my opportunity right there. This is my chance to take initiative here with the Page of Wands. Yeah, Five of Cups. This initiative is because it's like born out of regret. The Eight of Cups is behind that. So it's almost like someone regrets walking away in the past and does not want to miss another chance. That's kind of what I'm getting here, but let's keep clarifying. Why is the Chariot here? Tell me about the Chariot, please. The Six of Cups and the Six of Swords. Yeah, it's like someone's moving towards something um, with the Chariot and the Six of Swords um, because the Six of Swords is about leaving something behind. Can I get one more for the Chariot, please? Death, Scorpio Energy. Wow, I got a lot. Judgment, okay, this is the karmic lesson. Yep, Eight of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. This is the karmic lesson. Someone is moving on from a karmic lesson. This could be you, this could be your person, take it as it resonates, but you're moving on from a karmic lesson and that's opening a door somewhere here. All right, so let's look at your energies here. I have you on the left and your person on the right. Feel free to flip the energies. They could be interchangeable, Aries. And of course, if you find that this resonates at all for you, don't forget to hit that like button. Leave me a comment if you'd like. 
I love hearing from you guys. Okay, tell me about the High Priestess and the Wheel of Fortune. Tell me about the High Priestess and the Wheel of Fortune, please. The Hangman. You have all this major arcana. These are major shifts in energy happening to you here. Or happening because of you. Tell me about the High Priestess and the Wheel of Fortune, please. Why is the High Priestess with the Wheel of Fortune? Wow, the tower. Yes. Something about this. I You don't see this coming. I mean, with the high priestess in the tower, this is like secrets coming to light or secrets being revealed. There's the higher font. And I feel like you're just minding your own business when this happens. Like, I feel that you are not exactly sure why something is taking place. You know, you're doing you, focusing on you. Maybe you're learning your own lessons. And then, boom, there's a tower. The Hierophant, Taurus Energy. Tell me about the Hierophant. Why is the Hierophant here, Spirit? Look at all this major arcana. This is freaking crazy. Why is the Hierophant here? The Ten of Wands. Okay. Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck. There's two ways to interpret this. One way to interpret this is that there is some sort of tower happening to you with a current burden that you're experiencing in your own life, Aries. And maybe you're just now understanding why that's not working out for you or why that's been so difficult. That's one interpretation. The other interpretation is that this is your person's energy over here. They've been dealing with a burden obligation that is coming down. Regardless of which scenario you are in, it's going to affect you a lot. Because you're the one with the tower here, the Haman, the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like it's going to bring about a lot of changes for your life. Whether it's because of this person bringing it to you, or because you're caught in the middle, or because you're, this tower is happening directly to you. Some of you, this has to do with an existing commitment. Like there is a commitment, and there's a tower happening there, but... I don't really pick up commitment very strongly from this card. I actually don't pick up much from this card, which is kind of weird. Um, the tower is the one that I'm feeling like the strongest. It's almost like this is, this wasn't very strong to begin with. And it was like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm picturing like a paper house, a house made of paper. So, I'm sorry. Like, if that doesn't make sense to you, I <laughs> I completely understand. Energy is weird, especially, you know, energy when you're a reader. This is how I interpret it. This is, you know, I pick up things from the cards, et cetera, et cetera. This, whatever this was, whatever this represents for you, whether this is your commitment, their commitment, or some sort of, like, obligation, it was flimsy. That's all you need to know. There was not, it wasn't very strong to begin with. That's why, you know, it's just been more of a burden than anything. It's, it's just been a weight on someone rather than this was actually something with stability and a good foundation. I hope that makes sense because I don't know how else to explain. It. All right. So there's a tower coming. I feel like that high priestess, there's either a big reveal happening about this or you're just not aware that it's happening. Basically, it's going to take you by surprise. Let me clarify this Wheel of Fortune by itself. Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune. Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune, please. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? What's this Wheel of Fortune about? Justice. Holy crap. Okay. Libra energy. All you have to know. Oh, my God. And the Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Hold on. These cards just, like, flew out. Seven of Swords, Two of Cups, and the World. Okay, again, I feel like something's happening behind the scenes that you're not aware of. But the Two of Cups was the card at the bottom of the deck with Justice. So I feel like all you need, and then the World, wow, okay. All you need to know is that this is for your own good. That's all you need to know, Aries. 
whatever's happening here is for your own good, whether you realize that or not. So let's look at this other person. Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. I'm going to um, clarify these separately. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles, please. Eight of Pentacles. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles, please. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? The Queen of Swords. Okay. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy there. Um, there's the Nine of Swords. I feel like this person wants to communicate with you. That's this declaration energy. I think they have something to tell you, Aries. That's very important. Uh, the Queen of Swords is very hard to approach. They're not very easy to talk to. Um, they can be a bit cold, a bit distant. They could be um, intimidating. So it could be that someone's a bit scared <laughs> to approach you or just worried about how the conversation will go. I feel like they're going to tell you that they've been working on something. Why is my deck like not cooperating? What is going on? There's the moon. Again, I keep seeing energies like about secrecy, things unknown, things like that you don't, you're not aware of. So I don't know if like this declaration is something that you never expected to hear from them. But it's like they're going to tell you that they're working on something. And I feel like they're working on something because of this Ten of Swords. Why is this Ten of Swords here? Now, when I initially see the Nine of Pentacles with the Ten of Swords, I think of someone free or independent from a difficult ending a difficult cycle tell me about the ten of swords please why is the ten of swords here there's the high priestess again the nine of pentacles again and the page of swords page of wands at the bottom of the deck okay so the high priestess the nine of pentacles i feel like you're you have been in the dark about this other person's situation maybe you know the basics but you there's definitely you definitely do not understand the details of something um they're going to talk to you about this yeah page of wands eight of wands they're going to communicate about what's been going on what this karmic cycle has been like for some reason they could i mean this could also be that they want to talk about the ending between you and them but I feel like more than anything, what you need to know is that you're going to get clarity about something. Queen of Swords, Page of Swords, and the High Priestess. Tell me more about this Page of Swords. Tell me about this Page of Swords. The Knight of Pentacles, yes. So they're talking to you with the intent of eventually having something with you. Of eventually having an opportunity with you. All right, so let's get some insight here. This is my P.S. I love you deck. I really do love this one too. Let's start with you, Aries. What is Aries' energy towards this person? What's the energy that Aries brings to this connection or has towards this person? What do we need to know? There is so much I have to tell you. I feel like this is what this person is going to tell you, but it could also be that you have a lot to tell them. Living in denial. Oh, no, this is, I feel like they're going to be telling you this. That they've been living in denial, that they have so much to tell you. My feelings for you have not changed. Bottom of the deck. I feel like you both could have been living in denial to an extent. Maybe you both acted like this didn't affect you as much as it really did, the separation. But I have a feeling that for most of you, this is the, they're telling you this. Okay, tell me about this other person. What are they thinking, feeling? What are their energies towards Aries? Still holding on? I just did a reading with Capricorn. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, go check out that reading. They have very similar energies there. What else? What are they thinking, feeling? What's their energy towards Aries? Even though we are apart, our souls are united. Love that. Yes, I feel like you are not together, but there's still a connection here. Bottom of the deck, unwavering love. Oh yeah, definitely. You've been loyal to each other, despite whatever has happened here. 
I'll leave it here, Aries. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed that reading, or this reading, I guess I should say, um, don't forget to hit the like button before you leave. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all in another reading very soon. Take care.